Hey everyone, this is John with the Active Towns channel and it is Thursday, August 24th and I'm gonna pop on down to uh, the Barton Springs Road uh, project to see how everything is uh, coming along uh, in terms of adding some additional separation to uh, the, the bike lane that we saw on Monday. Uh, I know the city's been uh, working on adding some additional separation in terms of some flex posts as well as some uh, Zekla armadillos. So let's go uh, see how much is complete at this point you kind of see I'm at a kind of fun little overlook here from the downtown area looking from the Zilker West neighborhood and I want to swing around here this is one of my favorite houses over here um, in this particular location and the reason why I love this house so much is they put out a little bit of wisdom every day and so you can see a little saying here on the chalkboard. It's a little hard to read, I'm sure. It basically says, do your little bit of good where you are. It's these little bits of good that put together overwhelm the world. This was a quote from Desmond Tutu. I love this place, super cool. Okay, let's pop on down to check out uh, the status of Barton Springs Road. And in this uh, checkup on the status of Barton Springs Road, we're gonna take the Barton Boulevard uh, steep little descent down to Barton Springs Road. This is how I normally go if I am heading into downtown or if I'm heading to the Barton Springs Pool uh, as well as, you know, just going grocery shopping. And so this is that infamous crossing where I've ne nearly been hit many, many times uh, when we had a multiple threat factor of a four-lane road where you have one motor vehicle driver uh, yielding for you and then you nearly get clipped and taken out by the other so it's wonderful to see that simplified okay we're heading eastbound on Barton Springs Road right now and you can see uh, we don't yet have the separation the enhanced separation in the forms of the flex posts as well as uh, the Zeklas um, you notice I'm not really calling them protection I'm hesitant on calling flex posts protection ever <laughs> but I, I do like to point out that flex posts and lighter quicker cheaper materials like the Zekla armadillos these are wonderful ways for cities municipalities to help enhance that separation especially uh, when we're talking about I'll pause for that truck there when we're talking about preserving that real estate and creating that sense of separation you can always come back in as a city. You can always come back in as a city or municipality and put uh, more hardened materials into that space once the real estate is reserved. And we're at uh, Kinney Avenue here. Again, this is one of the steep descents out of the Zilker West neighborhood, which is my neighborhood. And uh, we can see the, uh, the crossing here and again, we can't yet see any uh, of the lighter, quicker, cheaper separation materials, flex posts, and the armadillos in place yet on this side of the street. Hopefully, that will get done either later today or into tomorrow, um, or depending on you know traffic patterns and um, making sure things are safe for the workers. Maybe this gets done over the weekend. Okay, we've got our green light. Let's go. swing around we can kind of take a look over here at Tom's Market you can see the materials that we have over here that's looking pretty good and now we're approaching uh, Lamar and again this was very much in a state of flux when we uh, saw this on Monday so it's nice to see the striping down and this be improved and we're going to queue up to be able to make our way across Barton Springs Road. All right, we've got our cross signal here. And then on 
over. And again, we're right back where we were on Monday, but now we have some enhanced markings and you can see the enhanced separation in the flex, flex posts up ahead. Wonderful to see that in place. transition from the Lamar Boulevard intersection and now we can kind of see how this is looking again super comfortable now it feels much safer much more relaxed the motor vehicle drivers are traveling much slower the impression that I have I'm pretty sure it'll be um, verified with actual data with the radar and really this is just such a major improvement a major enhancement And again, why this is necessary is pretty obvious as you're rolling down through here. There's so many restaurants, so many businesses along this area. And people, you know, want, people need to be able to access them via biking and walking. And this just makes it safer for everyone. Makes it safer for people driving, makes it safer for people who are not able to drive. And gosh, you know, I can't tell you how delighted I am that this has come together. And it's truly an honor to be able to profile something, you know, in your own city, in your own neighborhood. So wonderful to see. And up ahead, you can see the entrance to the park, Zilker Park. And it looks as if there's not a whole heck of a lot changed in terms of that status we're gonna go ahead and cross the bridge and uh, I actually need to go take some photographs down on the trail so once we make this little turn here and drop down to the main trail I'll say goodbye but hey I just wanted to give you this little update this is just a short brief update on the interim status of Barton Springs Road uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> this is John signing off by wishing you much activity, health, and happiness. Cheers. All right, let's uh, go check out our newly painted crosswalk here on a much safer street crossing. And we get a nice yielding behavior to the left. Not so much to the right. Although, now it's working like it should. That is the way it's supposed to work. Excellent. And again, sending a huge thank you out to all my Active Towns ambassadors supporting the channel on Patreon, Buy Me A Coffee, YouTube Super Thanks, as well as making contributions to the nonprofit and purchasing things from the Active Towns store. Every little bit adds up and it's much appreciated. Thank you all so much.